Okay, so what about salt and your health? Sodium and chloride are vital to your health. It's needed for every function in your body, for your cellular function, it needed for, it's needed for your bones, your digestive, for your mental health, for everything, for your blood, for all cellular activity. But we don't manufacture it ourselves. We have to get it from food. Yeah. The what the height their tension. Well, according to Dr. Merkla, a bigger cause of hypertension is sugar, not salt. And contrary to scientific evidence, the medical establishment and the USDA and the FDA are pushing for more and more restrictions on how much salt we should have. And according to the scientific evidence, we should have from different sources, because there's natural sources of salt in our food too, a teaspoon and a half a day. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and there's dangers of not having enough salt. Uh, people who don't get salt, enough salt, are at much higher risk of heart fit problems, uh, <laughs> you know, coronary problems, stroke, and uh, seizures even. But isn't there too much salt in processed foods? Yeah, oftentimes there is uh, stuff we probably shouldn't be eating anyway. But a lot of people, well, some people who want to eat healthy, you know, they're putting in all natural ingredients. They're buying their food fresh or frozen fresh and their meat, you know, whatever, organic, whatever. But they're not adding salt to anything. Whereas if they buy food in the store or whatnot, it's got salt you know, if it's a processed food of any kind, there's usually a lot of salt in there, like chips and pizza and whatnot. And, uh, of course, you don't know what that salt's got in it. It's probably additives of dioxides causing <laughs> more heart problems. But the problem becomes when people are on restricted diets or paleo diets where they said salt is bad. Well, salt is not bad. Salt is vital. Because if you don't have it, a lot of bad things happen. Like what? Well, let me pull out my little computer and read. <laughs> Increased risks of death for people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Uh, Increased falls and fractures in elderly people. Decreased, con decreased mental activity, cognitive abilities. Uh, giving birth to low weight babies. Elderly people are doing that? Well, no, pregnant people are. <laughs> and poor nerve development in infants. Ooh. Some of, the, some of the symptoms of not having enough salt in your diet can be, but not limited to, or not necessarily including all of these, um, can be headache, uh -huh. confusion, what? Hallucinations. Loss of energy, fatigue, muscle cramps, muscle weakness, nausea, vomiting, uh, changes in appetite, urinary incontinence. You can see I'm reading from my little tablet, aren't you? <laughs> Seizures and unconsciousness and coma. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not good. Lynn Gordon, I'm Hilma, and please subscribe to this channel if you want to. And is there anything else you want to know about? Just write it in the comments below. Tell us what you think. I know this is controversial for some people. And uh, like this video, share it with your friends. How about that? 